Hey, what's up guys? Joe with Geeks Worldwide. This is the Lenovo Legion Phone Dual. This thing is an absolute beast. I don't normally do unboxings, but I have to do this because it's awesome. It's <laughs> you're gonna love you're gonna love this unboxing. Uh, okay, so before I actually open it up, just a few key specs. This is running on the latest Snapdragon. This is the 865 Plus. It's got the 5G in it. And also, this has got fast charging and two 2,500 milliamp hour batteries, so a total of 5,000. They call it dual liquid. This is some type of uh, mid-thermal floating cooling system. I don't know. I'm just reading the marketing slick. It sounds pretty cool. The phone does have a 240 hertz touch sampling rate, so the same as the iPhones, which helps give the iPhone a very fluid UI. Speaking of UI, this also has a 144 hertz full HD plus AMOLED display. 144 hertz. I'm not talking about a monitor. This is a phone. It's freaking awesome. You get the Wi-Fi 6. You get a 20 megapixel camera. The camera's okay. Uh, I took some pictures, but anyhow, this also comes in two different uh, colors. There's a red version and a blue version, and that really matters uh, because you can also control the lighting pretty well. So, okay, let's go ahead and unbox it. Now, uh, you're gonna love this. Okay, so taking it out of the box. The box is super cool. Uh, I hope this picks up on camera, but there's this nice kind of texture to it. Uh, nice look. Lenovo. All right. The phone. Look at this box. Okay. This box is awesome. And now what this says right here is designed by Lenovo. And this is in the shape of the Legion Y that Lenovo has been using for years. Now watch what happens, right? Okay. Dead serious, that just happened. That is, that blew me away when I got the phone. Uh, so I, the speakers are for that are inside the box, not inside the phone, right? So check this out. That's just awesome. What a great idea. Okay, so here's the phone. This is the blue version. And it might be hard to pick up, but it says savage inside, stylish outside. That is, that is super cool. Let's get a good look at the phone. It's got a really cool look to it. It does pick up fingerprints, but it's not like it's a pure black phone or something or super, super shiny. So that's cool. All right. So a quick tour around the back you get. So this here, these are the trigger buttons. You get two of those and there's no physicality to it at all. So it's purely a touch feedback. This is the power button. You get your USB-C here and your micro SD or sorry, SIM. Um, this is another USB-C if you want to charge from the top so that the cord's not in your way when you're holding the phone and trying to play. Volume rocker, I like this a lot here too. Just a nice, simple Lenovo. That is gorgeous. The little things, man, the little things. All right, this lights up, all right? That lights up. Now you can control this Y. You can change the lighting pattern to a degree and the colors, but this right here where it says Legion, this is just red. You can't change that. You can't change the pattern either. Okay, okay, all right. I was curious what that did. Okay, so this is the the, the stat the uh, default wallpaper. It's this glowing blue, you know, super super cool. You can do it in red. But before I get to that, let's, let's get back to the rest of the box here. I don't normally do unboxing, so all right, same slogan um, on this, and this is going to be all your you know your books and components. Here's the USB cable for charging USB C, and a second one. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean you have to charge both batteries independently. All right, and then check out this power brick. I mean, that is, that's a power brick right there. <laughs> that is awesome. It has room for both USB-Cs in case you want to do that. So it does have a, like, is this a standard North American plug? I wonder if it is. So the thing about this phone is it's not supposed to be coming to North America, but, you know, this is all in English, and you got a... Ah, this is an engineering sample. Okay. It's an engineering sample, folks. So I think that means you can't take all this English language and plug and all that stuff uh, for more than what it is. Just, just a sample. All right, I'm trying to get to those speakers somewhere in there. They don't want you getting into it. But that is seriously, seriously cool. All right, I'll clean that up later. Back to the phone. Okay, so I already got my stuff registered in here. This 144 hertz, it's not going to show up, but man, it is so stinking smooth. Now, my daily phone is a Samsung Galaxy S20 with a 120 hertz refresh, but this thing is just 
you can tell it's next level. I, I know you're thinking 24 hertz, what the heck, but it's that touch sampling rate. It's super awesome. Now, Lenovo also did create a custom skin for this. And okay, just a quick commentary. So Lenovo, this is not their first phone. They made a phone that was uh, an AR phone called the, based on Project Tango. That was about two years ago. And it was also a big phone like this. This is a really big phone. Um, but in addition, they also purchased Motorola. And of course, Motorola used to be one of the biggest names in phones back in the flip phone era. And they're still around, still kicking. They have some of the best value phones out there today. Okay, so quick tour of what we got here. This UI skin is just, it's buttery smooth. It's awesome to deal with. Look at that. This is the this is the audio. This is the, the level for your volume. And every time I rock this, the haptics kick in. This is really good haptics. I'm very impressed with that. Now, of course, this menu, you can edit. You can change the layout and, well, not the layout, but the order of the icons here. But it, it works great. All right, so we'll go into the settings. Pretty standard set of settings, but you get some extra stuff too. So the 40 touch UI, which is their haptics, you have some, some changes that you can do there. Um, and I take that back. This is gesture control, my bad. Okay, but I'm using standard Windows. Uh, Windows. <laughs> this is a very PC-like phone, but no, I'm using the standard Android 10 UI, not Windows 10 UI. God, I wish Windows 10 was this easy to navigate. Okay. So, wallpapers and themes, I mentioned that you can do the the blue or the red, and they have some other colors in here as well. And there's a theme store, it looks like. I wonder if that's active. Let's get in there. It just has the four themes. Okay, all right, so let's get out of that. All right, so you get this ZUI Lab, and this is for your peripherals, so you can make a couple changes to uh, how you navigate the phone if you have a controller plugged in. And let's say dual camera video chat, that's cool. So you can chat with the front and the back, I'll have to test that out. Okay, now the Legion Realm, this is where you have most of your lighting effects. Um, so you can enhance the stereo, you can change your refresh rate. Uh, I've got the 144 right now, and out of the box it's at 90. Just a heads up. And then this is the haptic here. So you can test it out with some of these games, which is pretty neat. And the lighting effects. So the top here is a little bit confusing at first, but the top here starting at the left, this is just standard when the phone's idle. What are you going to do? So you can change this um, pattern, but you cannot change the color um, on idle. But one thing I noticed is that when I went to the gaming section, I changed it to blue and to breathing and then the phone changed to that style when it's in static mode, so that was helpful. Um, incoming calls, you can change the color there too, which is awesome, they give you a preview on the back while you're in this section, which is helpful. If you get a notification, uh, you can change this as well. Let's see, boom, got that turned on now, and now you see there's the yellow. And the same thing with charging, this is a really cool pattern Look at that, that is just awesome. Way to go, Lenovo. Seriously, I'm so blown away by this phone. This phone is a, an absolute beast. I just, I can't say that enough. Okay, you can record your gaming uh, while you're playing, just like a PS4 does, so you don't have to worry about capturing that perfect moment. It's kind of done for you already. And let's see, this assist. Um, so there's a bunch of settings in here I'm gonna have to play with to kind of figure out what they do. But it looks like what they're trying to do is optimize the gaming experience which makes a ton of sense since this is a gaming-oriented phone. Now, gaming. Let's hop into some Call of Duty. All right. I have to admit, I have never played this. And I'm skipping the tutorial. All right, we're the bad guys. These guys suck. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Guess I'm not. Somebody's got to be coming from behind me here any second now. Why is it such a small map? There's like no strategy here. 
Uh, oh, hey, buddy. Low ammo will get me more. Why doesn't this work? Oh, okay. Switching. I don't think that worked. I think it hit a roof. Hey, we won! Alright. Good job, Special Forces team. Right in the lakes. Just like I planned. Yeah, okay, this phone is it's just freaking awesome. Now, would I make this my daily phone? I, I, I don't know. It's pretty big, and I like phones that are a little smaller. So, this is the S20 with a case, and then this is the perfectly nude Legion Duel. I don't know, it's gonna take some convincing, but I don't think it matters anyway since this isn't coming to the US. Uh, but that could change, you never know. That could really change. So yeah, the speed on this thing is really the beauty of it. Um, I, I absolutely love this phone. It's, the speed is just, it's insane. So, all right, well that's a quick unboxing and tour of the Lenovo Legion Duel. I'll have a more in-depth review soon. So thanks for watching, take care.